Righto, this is an Apollo, I'll just turn that down a bit, uh, Apollo AP801, and there weren't a lot of these that you saw. Um, they were quite nifty because um, they had a um, really nice bright sort of front panel on them. Um, went away from the wood grain look, which was um, something. Anyway, this one came in, and uh, uh, this is um, from a mate of mine who just, he didn't have the time. He's, he's definitely got the ability to fix it, don't get me wrong, but he just didn't have the time to get a look at this one, so it sort of ended up on my uh, doorstep. And, um, oh, hang on, just making a move here, sorry. Um, and basically no transmit, no receive, etc., etc. Um, and uh, was very, very suspect of a few things. The mic wiring on the side here, and I've just got a little electrophone mic on there at the moment, but we've got a hurdle of more <laughs> like those from there. Um, and uh, the first thing that was fairly obvious was that um, over in this area here, someone had been playing in the mic wiring area, and what, what they'd done, and this was probably the thing that confused a few people, they'd um, reversed the, um, let me just show you, uh, receive and transmit wires. Now if you imagine this radio is upside down so your transmit is on this side here and below it is your receive line just here. Now these two here were reversed. Um, now that's fine, that doesn't make the radio work, that just means transmit receive starts to make sense and you can get some audio out of it etc etc. And so then I started to sort of think you know it's looking very um, phase lock loopish slash VCO and I had a bit of a look over here <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry, <coughs> dying here, <coughs> that's better, sorry, I just had lunch and uh, I should have timed that a bit better, um, and I noticed the VCO slug as you can see in there uh, has been battered about a fair bit, now generally that's someone who's suspected that there's a um, VCO PLL issue and has gone in there, snapped it etc etc, um, and uh, that, that we could actually pull that out if we needed to. We were actually able to um, readjust it for uh, volts between channel 1 and channel 40 without actually having to pull it out. So I'm a great believer in, uh, you know, don't push your luck. Uh, so basically with a couple of wires switched around and a um, uh, VCO just recalibrated to what it should be for 40 channels, uh, this uh, radio is um, back to working again. And it just shows you sometimes, I mean, look... Um, there was uh, some other things we did. We, we aligned the receiver, it was miles out. And the thing about that is that when people go looking for faults, sometimes they'll, they'll head off in the wrong direction. And this is where you know, I kind of tend to suggest don't twiddle too much. Um, there's, it's, I mean, if it's obvious that something's been, a slug's been played with or broken, yeah, sure, have a look in the area. But, you know, definitely don't, uh, don't twiddle everything, you know, sort of alongside it. You'll, um, you'll just find you're just, you know, uh, causing more problems. And you haven't really found the root cause yet. So, you know, that's sometimes the, um, the problem. But uh, I'm happy to report that uh, this little fella, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, testing one, two, three. Hello, hello, testing one, two. Is um, really coming up quite nice. And um, I've always wanted one that was as clean as this. And... Um, I'm just actually injecting a signal into it and having a bit of a look um, if we're even on the right channel, which we're not, that would help. Channel 30. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought, where's our signal gone? And um, uh, just turn that off there and we'll just maybe not have so much drive going into it. And as you can see from the meter, uh, we're down fairly low drive there. And actually, just looking at that, we'll need to adjust that meter up a little bit too. Uh, that that is not showing accurate for the amount of we've got a lot of lot of gain going into that and um, I'm just having a quick little as you can see I'm adjusting the meter here now we do um, we do that a lot more accurately let's have a look there She's five microvolts. That's yeah, okay. Um, I'll just double check that when I get off this video, but um, it's not too far off. We'll see if we can get that calibrated a bit better. But um, and once again, you know, those things don't sort of fall out of calibration. They're generally someone that's been in there and, and had a bit of a look and thought. Um, hang on, turn that um, off. <laughs> Show you mental. Uh, yes, someone's sort of been in and had a play and. Um, and look, I know it's not my mate, but I can tell you now, uh, he's too good at these. Um, it's, um, this was definitely one that you know, we're a bit lucky to, to get hold of. Um, and to, um, I, I wanted this mainly because it had a really nice clean front on it, and the covers are you know, quite reasonable too. So um, you know, that, was, that was a bit of a godsend. 
so anyway um, uh, you'll see um, I've actually got another one of these coming up uh, that's working I think yeah actually it's working quite okay um, and we're doing a bit of a sell-off uh, of quite a few sort of double ups so this becomes our our number one radio that you know we can say okay we've got a reasonable example of an 801 fantastic so the rest goes so you'll start to see some bulk piles I'm going to do quite a few uh, you'll see some stuff come up on the Facebook sites, etc., to um, to have a look at, and there'll be bulk lots of radios, um, pretty some pretty interesting ones too. Um, we're just going through and sorting out those double ups. Okay, so the message with Cybernet O two A's: always check your VCO voltages, make sure they're correct, um, because often you know when you've got an unlocked state, uh, that that will be it. Have a look at your PLL chip um, and make sure that um, you know there's no open tracks or anything uh, on there and then basically start working through working out what you've got um, and often you know you'll find something like this um, microphone situation which um, you know when people re you know, reverse wires on things like this um, you don't expect them you don't actually think and you think what's going on here and um, but always back to basics remember your pinouts on uh, cybernets versus unitons and um, you know your multimeter is your friend and also a couple of crop clip leads work uh, very well okay 73s, all the best, and uh, this is the Apollo AP801, um, designated very much with that green display that made it fairly obvious, and they also had the little AM modulation light. <laughs> Better not make it fool of me. One, two, <laughs> good. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. About five watts of power there. There we go. Um, oh, sorry. There you go. Anyway, all good. So that is the AP801, and, um, you know, drop me a line if you working on one and got any problems um, they're generally pretty easy to knock through uh, but uh, now and again you'll get a bit of a troubling one but this one's turned out to be an easy one okay 73s all the best vk3 charlie mike